hungry, Lord. We're hungry for the fullness of revival.
Yeah, it's okay to just shout out glory. It's okay to shout out Jesus. It's okay to get transformed tonight. It's okay to get filled up tonight. It's okay to weep. It's okay to intercede. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to run. It's okay to lay down on the floor. It's just okay with Daddy tonight. It's okay with Daddy tonight. Come on. It's okay with Daddy tonight. Come on, Lord Most High. Hello, Him. It's okay with Him. It's okay. He doesn't care. It's His house. We're His children. Yeah. Let your prophetic vessels, these bodies, the tabernacle, the meeting place, let them just shift the atmosphere. Release glory tonight. 
You might not understand that, but you have the power because the kingdom of heaven is within you. You see, it's not going to come from the ceiling. It's going to come from you because the anointed one is within you. Yeah. You have the power to release. Actually, right now, if you just started going like this, you're just shaking off the pollen glory. You just start to change everything in this place. Come on, do a prophetic act tonight. Just shake it off. Come on, shake it off. I just dare you to get prophetic. I dare you to get... Ch- Come on, just just test the abilities of what the Spirit can do through you. Through you. Yeah, pollinate somebody next to you. Here. So just pollinate somebody next to you. I'm going to pollinate you. Pollinate you. Pollinating you with glory. Glory, glory. Come on. We got a long way to go tonight. I want this night to be everything that the Lord ordained it to be before the foundations of the earth. Amen. I don't want to leave one thing undone tonight. If you're new to this house, we go long and we go deep until we hit the vein of gold. The transformation starts to happen. So if you need to lay down, lay down. If you need to stand up, stand up. Whatever it is, if you need to dance, just dance because we're going to go deep tonight. Because there's something that the Lord has promised for this house for this weekend. That he was going to bring things that the body of Christ has not seen before. Many of you go to conferences and many of us, you know, we have so many conferences here in this church. But there's something about this new season that we're in. The old things were good. But God is saying, will you lay down the old so I can just equip you with the new? And you see, we have to put away what we know and to grab onto what we don't know. And that's what faith is all about. So we're just journeying through this season saying, Holy Spirit... You would never do anything wrong. You would never do anything to hurt us. You wouldn't embarrass us because you want to bless us. So we want to just have the characteristics of the kingdom of heaven upon this earth. And his servants, you, can release that glory. So as we keep journeying tonight, there's going to be some amazing things that get unfolded in this house through you, through his presence. So, Sean, just go ahead and just start. Just start that blood song, Sean. Lord, it's all about the blood. It's all about the blood of Jesus.
covers, covers.
everybody. Jesus, 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 Bless you, Lord. Lord, charge the atmosphere with your glory. Heart up. I am your branch. You are my vine.
preparing for the new wine. Let it overflow through me. Lord, as you're dancing over me, your love is flowing powerfully. Let it overflow through me. Let it overflow. Let it.
overflow. It's that abundance. It's that life of excess. You gotta have access. But once you realize that we have access as sons of God to the throne room, and we come back contaminated with glory. And we live out of the overflow rather than the barely enough. Says the spirit of the living God, dig deep into my spirit and you'll see 
everything becomes so clear all you gotta do is wake up and trust me daily and you will see my arm is not too weak nor my hand but I'm placing a demand on my pride to walk with me through this land and run and not grow weary and walk and never faint because of my love I want my love to want my love to overflow. I want my love to to share with you tonight something that happened this week which I believe is going to change the church how many want to see change I mean it's okay if we do this it's okay but there's more and this week I had a dream and I'm not really a big dreamer but I've been praying for this meeting tonight I haven't had this much opposition for a meeting in the last couple of years like I've had in the last couple of weeks. So I just knew, I said, Lord, you want to do something really special this weekend. I'm telling you this, opposition everywhere I turn, in my house, outside of my house, everywhere I go. And I was in this dream this week. It was about 6 o'clock in the morning. So I wanted my prophetic people, my dreamers, and my seers to listen carefully. I was in a courtroom, and I was defending Jesus. And he was sitting in a chair. I could not see his face, but I knew it was him. And I remember they kept accusing him. And I was dressed up in a suit like he would be in a courtroom. And they were accusing him. And I would just say, but Jesus did this. And they would say, but he did that. And I said, no, but Jesus did this. And every time I would turn around to see him, he would just nod his head like, good. That was good. That was good. And I one time motioned to him to say something. And he just, without speaking, said to me in the spirit, I do not need to defend myself. He said, but I am the defender. And I just went on and I kept defending him. And the more he nodded his head, the bolder I got in the spirit. And I just started defending him. And I started saying, and Jesus did this. And he healed and he saved and he forgave and he blessed. And I started praying this week about that. And the Lord said that there are many of you that are going before the courts of heaven right now and the Lord wants you to know tonight that maybe you've been in a really difficult place but he is petitioning the Father for mercy and for grace and you're about to transcend into that next level season as a church for those of you that receive it and believe what I'm telling you because there is a shift that happened but the manifest of that shift has it fully come to pass yet but I'm telling you right now we're about to hit a curve in a vortex that's gonna suck you through and nothing is going to stop us any longer I'm telling you this there is a power because of the defender and the love that Jesus has for you that no man can stop no court system can quench and we are in some of the toughest times in America right now where everything that could come against the church and our people and our children are just rising up listen in case you don't know it you know we talk about last days whatever that may mean to you but I'm telling you right now the scripture says that in those last days that the enemy is gonna pour out his assault on the church but the scripture declares this that the judge is going to raise a standard 
above that. And no matter what the accusations are, no matter how many times you have to walk down the hallway of your accusers, your identity in being more than a conqueror is going to get you from one end of that to the other without any glimpse at all. You're not going to stumble any longer. You see, because daddy is saying once and for all with the gavel, innocent, and he said it, but he has to remind the church of it continually and continually and continually. But I'm telling you this right now, church, we're going to a level that we have been prophesying, dreaming, and, and, and getting words of wisdom and knowledge about. I believe that this weekend, and I'm not just saying this because we do conferences all the time, but I'm telling you that there's something very dynamic and very explosive in the spirit realm. The enemy is very afraid of this group of people. Because when there's people that come together and know who they are and know who he is, you see, if just two people could come together and agree upon anything, on one thing, that it shall be done, it shall explode. If just two of us tonight said, Wow, we're going to shout because the Lord has given us the city of just two of us really got together and connected in the Holy Ghost tonight. We can have the city tonight. You see, we can have all the prostitutes turned around, the addictions turned around. We can turn the banking system around. We can bring jobs in. If just two of us in this place tonight could just say, would you believe with me? Because I believe we can take the city. You see, that's the kind of that's the kind of dunamis faith, the Kairos moments, the rhema words that are coming into the house of the Lord that are going to give you the strategies to unlock the seasons that have been locked up. Because I'm telling you this, church, the Lord is sitting in the chair and he's nodding his head tonight. And he's saying, good job, church. Good job, church. He's saying that you are beautiful. You are my bride. You're more than conquerors. I died for you and I would die for you again. So I don't know where you're at, but I'm telling you right now, your case is in the courtroom of heaven right now. And it's about to be stamped, paid in full again. So whatever that is for you tonight, just rejoice over that. Just rejoice over that. Come on, just rejoice over that tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. What are you going to say? Revelation is yeah. pouring out. Revelation is pouring out. Revelation. Come on, prophetess, release that. It's pouring out. Revelation from Revelation. It's yeah. pouring out. Revelation. Revelation from his very throne. It's revelation. pouring out. It's pouring I'm not afraid out. of revelation. It's pouring out. We need revelation. revelation. From revelation is pouring out revelation from its very throne, from its very throne. Oh, oh Lord, pour it out, pour it out, revelation. 